Hey everyone, welcome back to the 24th Weekend Snapshot. Uh, I've titled this one, We'll Do It Live, not to uh, reference the Bill O'Reilly flip out, but uh, there's, a, there's a reason for it, and it's kind of going into where uh, I'm taking some things as far as directions concerned. Um, so far we've started the YouTube channel, we've meaning I, have started a YouTube channel. Uh, already have seven videos up there, four of them being from the WordPress snippet series. Uh, then you have the trailer, and then this will actually be the eighth video. Uh, two snapshots up there already. So things are coming along really well with the YouTube channel. Uh, the live part of it is actually going to be live streaming on my justin.tv channel. Um, I know it's an inter diff well, not interesting, but it, I guess it is interesting. A uh, different uh, concept there is just kind of uh, maybe creating a hangout at some point of just um, just kind of coding up sites and, and, and maybe getting on chat with other people who can talk through things and kind of make it kind of an interaction type of deal. But also um, there, there's going to be some chances where I'm going to want to live stream uh, the podcast that's coming uh, as well as other videos that I'm going to be doing with uh, friends and other designers and developers. So uh, I'm just kind of leaving that channel open. Uh, you can catch the link there here at the bottom in the uh, comments. Uh, so what's been going around the channel? Uh, just uh, just kind of keeping a schedule of WordPress snippet videos. We, we again, I uh, am trying to create uh, kind of like a flow for these videos. Maybe have it to, to a week. Uh, then do a snapshot on the weekend, and then maybe a couple other videos, whatever, have time. Um, uh, you know, so this this week I've I released one WordPress snippet video. I, I also have the snapshot, and coming Sunday, uh, maybe Monday, depending on if I have time to, to get that into production, is the video on a video review of the WordPress plugin that we're going to be discussing. Um, but it's kind of opening the doors for other other videos, and so it's it's the, the channel is going to be blowing up here pretty soon. Uh, so get hyped for that. Uh, again, I'm trying to make sure that I have some time to get these articles that I've 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 kind of put in queue. I have two almost ready to go. I've been wanting to release that for about two weeks now, and then it just seems like every other. Every other week, I come up with some other new concept to do, and then I'm just off on that project. So I, I've really got to hone in and, and focus on what I've already done and get those out there because uh, I, they're really, really neat, neat articles. I, at least I think so. Um, and that's pretty much been going on this week. The other big thing I'd like to mention, and I was going to actually include this in the snapshot, but it's not an actual product yet. But if you guys haven't seen Macaw or even heard about the Macaw uh, tool, this looks really promising. We have a video on it. It's about 20 minutes long. Uh, and it's, if you guys are already familiar with the Sketch app, which I've been kind of toying around with in my spare time, this one seems a little bit more savvy. <laughs> uh, it, it really is. And it, it's very intuitive. The interface is really nice. It seems like, again, we haven't been able to use this yet or, or test this out, but um, I just, I, I've always been a big fan of, there's times where you wireframe, there's times where you just want to get right into Photoshop, and there's times you just want to go live. Do it live! Uh, so this is kind of the chance where it feels like, uh, obviously we're moving from just static art to being able to have more more of a connection with the web and the, and the art that we create. So I'm really excited about this tool, and I'm and if you haven't checked it out, you need to go do that now, uh, macaw.co. Um, and then just kind of stay on the, uh, the mailing list here, and we're all going to find out when this when this thing goes live. There, see, just tying this uh, title back in everywhere. But uh, So that's Macaw, and uh, that's pretty much all that's been going on this week. Stay tuned for the YouTube channel because there's a lot to come. And with that being said, we're just going to start right into our snapshot. <laughs> For web design inspiration this week, I came across an agency website for a firm in Minneapolis called Little. And similar to the Brave People site that we saw last week, uh, Little uh, has a very nice uh, clean layout as well. Lots of white space, and it's very subtle uh, but effective. Um, so you start off with this kind of huge banner image here, kind of a glimpse into the actual companies, maybe showing the guy talking about strategy and whatnot. Um, little pops of color in there, really nice. Uh, I can see the little bringing in some of that orange there, so it has a nice uh, connection. 
The nav, as you scroll up, will stick to the top. It's one of my, it's always one of those little features that I really love. I don't know why, I don't know why it is. Uh, it's not entirely overdone, but uh, it's, it's, I don't know what it is. I love it. Um, and then you come to this page here. It's, it's the only part of the site that I question because I don't know if this real estate or this much real estate being taken up, it, you know, is there a lot of value here? Uh, but essentially what this section is just kind of dives into a little bit about who they are and then links down into uh, to finding out more. But I feel like something's missing here. I don't know what it is. But again, there, it's a lot of white space. Uh, I do love the typography. It's thin, uh, really crisp, really elegant. Scrolling down, they bring in these uh, the logo soup here between the client list and the case studies. Um, so they had the the monochromatic logos here rather than all this random uh, color that you would see on a lot of logo soups. So I, the treatment's nice there. Uh, then you see some of the featured projects that they're working on. I love these collage. I love this collage effect. Again, the pops of color come out. There's a little bit of texture there, uh, but it's still clean. It's still still presented nicely. Um, and then as you go down, you get to the, the chunky footer and then your course, your custom Google map that you see on a lot of sites nowadays. But overall, if you, if you just kind of scroll up and down, you see, this is a really nice clean layout. Um, there's a little parallax motion there. Nice little touch. Uh, blog is a Tumblr blog, but they've kind of aligned it with their site a little bit. So, uh, that's nicely done. So overall the site is has a nice balance to it. Again, it's random, re random on refresh image here, bringing in that pops of color, uh, the orange, um, again, the connection there. So really atten nice attention to detail. And of course, as you would go to any website, you would want to check to make sure it's responsive. They of course have their responsive layout. So, uh, they've definitely thought it through and, uh, yeah, overall, I, I really enjoy the site. Nicely done. <laughs> So for a jQuery plugin this week, I came across one called Picadate.js. Um, they always say the little things in life are what make it worth it. And this is one of those instances, uh, mainly because on a day-to-day -day basis, I build uh, web applications and interfaces. And so using date and time pickers uh, is, is part of the norm for me. Um, you know, and if you know anything about these things, the, the rules governing these, the standards for these are varied. Uh, you get some really ugly ones, you get some pretty decent ones, uh, but there's never really one that just kind of fits a modern mold, and this one does. Uh, it's responsive, it's lightweight, and the best part about it is the actual interface of it, the, the UI. It's just, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, so with this script, you actually get two different themes and you get the date and time picker. So just to kind of show you, I'm just going to select the default theme. We're going to kind of go down the page. Here's the date picker. Kind of, it's, it's almost it's the, that modal presentation. Um, so you can select today and of course going different, going to the different months, you can select those days nicely presented again, it's responsive. So look at that. Just, just kind of molds with this. Just nice, mm, delicious. Uh, and then you have the time picker, which does the same kind of modal effect as well. You scroll it, go down to the time that you want, click it, boom, it's in there. Uh, love it. So going to the classic theme, this goes to like what the standards, uh, the standard ones that you'll find where it's just attached to the, uh, the actual input. Um, nothing much change, nothing much changes as far as the UI is concerned, but it's still just so nice. Um, and, uh, look at that. Just so beautiful. Uh, so if you haven't checked it out, please go check it out and try to use that on a project. <laughs> For this week's web app, I chose Ticktail, which is an e-commerce solution. It's a free e-commerce solution. That's the main thing. Uh, and, I, and I chose it because I was watching the video down the page here. And it was kind of showing the interface of it and, and how you would go about setting certain things up. And it seems pretty robust for a free solution. Uh, it, it's very non-intimidating. So I, I would imagine it, uh, anyone from any kind of... Uh, level of experience, it would, would find it easy to get on there uh, and, and, and do something. Uh, it, I wouldn't expect it to be a full-fledged e-commerce solution because uh, it isn't, but it is enough to be able to, to do what you need to do what you need to do, and it does worldwide. Uh, so you, just come on here and check out the features. I thought it was really cool, and, and just in case one of you guys wanted to, to find a free solution, this is one to check out. So go check it out yourself. <laughs> And lastly is your freebie of the week, and it's a flat UI kit. So if you're a flat designer, 
this is for you. Uh, there's enough interface components here to get you started. Um, it, it comes on a big PSD file that you can download off of Drivel by Ricky. Uh, so go ahead and get your freebie download. And with that, it's time for your random opinion. My opinion this week is that being a doer is much better than being a talker. <laughs> Happy developing, everyone. Happy developing, everyone.